Good evening. <coughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, I think. Okay. How's your day? <sighs> kind of tired. But that's good. And your day? Mm. Yes. Well, as, as I told you, that's nice. It's been a hard week. So I'm tired. I imagine too. that. But yeah. We have a lot of things to do. How many classes do you have per day? Um, I like I am working in a private school, so I have classes from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then I have classes here from 8 to 10. So I think it's My kind God. of hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you live with <laughs> I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's hard. It's kind of, but, but I here. think <laughs> in, in English, if you really like it, well, is it's more comfortable. Well, it's, it means um, you can feel it well being two hours speaking in yeah. English. Of because course. the other way, I don't, I don't think that you want to be here. <laughs> But in, in the morning, I don't have like English classes. I work with kids. So it's kind of heavy because I need yeah, to. Yeah, you had to be patient. <laughs> yeah, of yeah. course. But I like to, to work with kids. They are very funny. <laughs> okay. So now we are going to start with this session um, because now we have some exercises in which you are going to talk and you are going to use all of the um the information that you have and also we are going to have a listening part in which we are going to um search information in the conversation that we are going to hear just here not we are going to read the information. We are just going to hear some conversation in which you are going to find some specific information. And also this activity will help you with the work in the platform. Because um, if you can see the message that you have in the group, some of you are not working on the platform. And I know that you have a lot of things to do in the day and in the week. So it's kind of hard for you, but you need to work in the platform and because we are in the second week and we have just two more weeks to end the, um, the course. So now we are going to uh, begin with the part in which we were um, working yesterday that was preposition of time. We have just two and we need to talk about two more. So we are going to begin and then we are going to have the exercise and later on, we are going to have the uh, listening activity. So let's see. Let's see, let's see this one. So we have here the prepositions that we were working uh, yesterday and we have in, at, on and now preposition. And we have the first one that is at, that we use with time, holiday periods, at night, at the weekend, at lunch time, at dinner time, at breakfast time. Then we have on that it's four days, day plus morning or afternoon or evening or night. And for dates. And now we are going to talk about in and not preposition. So we have in, and we have the examples or the things that we are going to use with this preposition. So let's see. And we have in four years. So in this case, we are going to write the years with the preposition in. And we have the example in 1992 or in 2006. Also, we have this one for months. And we have in December. 
and also in June. Remember that the name of the months and the name of the days, we are going to write with capital letter. Um, in Spanish, it is not necessary, but in English, it's uh, like a proper noun. So they write it with capital letter. Then with the decades, and we have in the 19th century, I mean, it is not like in the 60s, I mean, in the 60s. In the 60s, in the 1790s. In the 1790s. Okay, and in this case, centuries. And we have in the 19th century. Century. Then we also use in for seasons. And we have in winter. In summer. And the last one in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. And the last one is no preposition. No prep. We're going to write it like this. And we have the things. Let me see. Okay. We have this one. And for these expressions, we are not going to use an a specific preposition. And we have next week. Next week, year month. So in this case, we are not going to say in the next year. It is not necessary to add the preposition. We just say the next year or the next week or the ne next the month. Then we have another one at last night. Last night, year, at Saturday, like week like month and all of that information. Then this morning, it's not just the word morning, is the use of this. In that case, we are not going to use the preposition because we have this morning, in this morning. It is not necessary. This morning, month, etc. Then we have every day, night, and years, using every day. And the last one today, tomorrow, and yesterday. So in this case, we have the four um, prepositions that we are going to use to talk about this uh, time expression. So we have here, we have at, on, in, and a preposition. So we are going to end this uh, topic with some exercises in which you are going to um, answer some questions that I will um, ask, ask to you. So in that case, um, it's not like it, we are going to just use one expression. Um, there are like different kind of questions in which you are going to talk. So we are, um, I will send to you an image in which we have like a review of this topic that is the time expressions in which we have some 
uh, categories, we have spend time, waste time, save time, tell someone the time, run off time, it's about time, kill time, all of the things that we are going to use with the word time. Um, in this case, the, uh, those expressions have a meaning. For example, in a spend time, we have the meaning that it says, to pass your time doing some activity. And we have an example. I spent some time in South America when I was younger. So we are using time expression, but also we have some specific expression uh, that are talking about time. So I will send to you this image right now because I want you to have the examples about this kind of um, expression that we can use. So I'm sending to you the image and we have there the image. So then we have waste time and it says that the meaning, doing something that is not good use of time. So. In that case, um, the spend time is doing something good with our time, but wasting time is not doing something good with our time. And we have the example, don't do, don't do it like that. You are wasting time. Same time, the meaning something that is efficient and gives you extra time. And we have the example, people love shopping online because it saves time. Then we have tell someone the time. Can you tell me time, please? Oh, I left, I left my watch at home. Run of time. Have no more time before the limit. The bell rings and we run out of time before finishing the test. It's about time, meaning finally. It's about time to, it's about time for me to go to bed. Almost, almost for you, I think. I don't know. Kill time, to fill in the time while you are waiting to do something you have planned. We got uh, the airport very early, so we had a meal in the restaurant to kill time. Then we have take your time, that the meaning is you can use as much time as you want, you don't have to go fast. And we have the example, no need to hurry, you can take your time. Bang that right on time. And it means exactly on time. The train left bad that right on the time. We can use whatever uh, of the words that we have in that expression. Then free spare time. Time in which you have no obligation and you can do whatever you want. That, that is your free time. And we say, in my free time, I enjoy reading, painting, and cooking. And we have two more, have time to. The meaning is be available to do something. And the example, I'm sorry, I didn't have time to do my homework. And the last one, make time for. And the meaning is to create time in a busy schedule. And the example, I need to make time for regular exercise. So we have more expression that we can use when we are talking about time or time expression. So now I have some questions that we are going to answer. I will uh, read uh, the question, but I need to stop sharing my screen because it is not necessary to have that screen right now. So uh, I have some question for you. Um, and the only thing that you need to do is use a time expression or expression like, uh, like the ones that you have in the image that I sent to you. So I have different kind of question. It is not like very, very specific uh, topic about time. No, it is like, we're going to relax a little bit. So we have the first thing that is a travel and holiday. In this case, it is, uh, the use of the uh, time expression. Let me see. I have, and I will ask Henry. I don't know if you can answer a question. Henry, are you there? 
Hello, teacher. Hello, I have a question for you. So it said, where did you go last year for vacation if you have that time eh, because of your job? Where did you go last year? And repeat, please, teacher, please. Where did you go last year for vacations? Um, I go to the beach in my family. Ah, okay. The last year you uh, went with your family. So, Henry, tell me a name. Who uh, is going to be the next one that is going to answer a question? Okay, I will choose. Let me see. Dennis? Hi, teacher. Hello. So, we are going to talk about mm, music. Because we are answering different kind of questions, there is not just like we are going to talk about time. So in this case, what is your favorite type of music? Um, reggaeton. Okay, that's your favorite type of music. So, uh, mm -hmm. Tell me uh, English romantic. Romantic music. Uh, only that. Mm, thank you. Tell me a name. Uh, uh, Jose Palacio. Jose. Hello. Hello. The question said, mm, how often do you go Shopping. How often do you go shopping? Uh, I like to buy shoes. Mm -hmm. Um, this year. You like to buy uh, shoes in this year. You have a uh, buy maybe uh, that uh, article, right? Okay. So give me a name, Jose. Um, Jose Alvarenga. Okay. Jose Alvarenga. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see him. Let me see, let me see. Do you prefer books or films? I like films like a uh, 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 fightings of um, <clears throat> like kingdoms. Uh, my favorite movie is that, that genre is uh, Braveheart. Uh, 
eh, también su eh, corazón de caballero sería okay. Night, Night Earth. That is. Okay, thank you. Give me a name. Eh, solo porque lo tengo en la pantalla, Víctor Rey. Okay, <laughs> that's the one, Víctor, I think. Ahí. Okay. Let me see. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Victor, hello. Hello. Okay. Let's see. What do you usually like doing on a holiday? Um, repeat, repeat. What do you usually like to do or doing on holiday? ¿Qué le gusta hacer en las vacaciones? Eh, I, I like at the beach. I like at the football. Y como leer libros. Read books. Oh, that's good. So, give me a name. Jocelyn Gabriela. Jocelyn Gabriela. Good. Hello. Hello. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What type of books do you like? Uh, I like books, the romance, mm -hmm. uh, comedy, mm -hmm. suspense. Okay, good. Give me a name. Uh, Matias. Matias. Hello. Good night, teacher. Good night. Is there any food you don't eat and why not? Mm, yes, there is one food that I don't like at all. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how to call it, but it's, it's a part of the cow. Liver. Okay. Beef, beef liver, it, it, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I I don't like it. Maybe that's uh, a food that I dislike the most. Okay, good. So give me a name. Um, Edwin Montejo. Edwin. Hmm. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, first question, because there are two in the same. We have, do you read a newspaper? And what type of articles do you read? Um, <clears throat> I never read newspaper, but I read in a digital form like Google. Okay news and all is about sport like formula one nfl football soccer you know something like this and sometimes i would like to read um something that science or mm -hmm. one of the most uh, represented people in the world like elon musk i don't know if anybody here knows who yes. is elon musk but mm -hmm. i like to read about yeah, because 
is a big personality and always try to say to people the truth. So that's my kind of news that I read every day, right? Okay, good. Give me a name. <sighs> um, Dennis. Mm -mm, another one. Uh, Claudia Sarko. I think yes. Other thing. <laughs> Claudia. Hello, teacher. Hello. What is your favorite song? And if you can share with us some information about the song that you like. Mm, I don't know if you need more time, Claudia. I'm not music favorite. You don't have any favorite kind of music? No. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Let's see, I think um, Eliseo. Hello. Can you hear me? I have a question. It says, is a sport more important than a school? And are you a lazy or an active person? Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, so we are going to have this part here and now we are going for the listening part because we have three exercises. One is the plat uh, one that we can find in the platform and I have two more exercises for you. So we are going to hear the first um, audio and we are going to read the question that we have in the platform. I don't know if some of you have uh, worked in that activity, but if you um, don't do that activity, or I don't know, we are going to answer those um, questions that appear in the platform. So I'm going to search the <clears throat> platform and I'm going to play the audio. 
And if you have some question about the platform, you can ask in this moment. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, um, a question for you. Oh, tell me. Um, what is your favorite hobby? What is my favorite hobby? Oh, it's kind of easy. I really like to read because that one of my favorite activities. Also, I like to watch anime. And I think that painting, but I am not really good at it. I'm very good. Teacher. Tell me. Do you really like anime? Yes, of course. Uh, did you see Castlevania yet? Mm, not of the, the episodes because of the time, but I know what it's that anime. Okay. But I, yeah, I, I, I saw it because I saw in your soul bar, country crew. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And I have. <laughs> This it's kind of yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Nice. I'm a animal lover too. So oh, that's, that's good. Why I'm asking? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So we are going to hear the um the audio, and then we are going to read the question that we have in that part. Because we need to find information or a specific information. Ah, oh, that's okay. Don't worry. We understand that uh, some of you can have this kind of troubles because I also have that kind of troubles with my internet connection. I don't know why I am having a good, good connection right now. So now we are going to listen. Then we have... Um, if you can see in the screen, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. We have twelve things that we need to find in that audio. So I will play the audio twice. Then we are going to give the answers for that uh, things that we are going to find. And it says, Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the information for each person. So we are going to hear the things that they do during the day. So we are going to listen. But as I said, I don't know if it's going to work because of my connection. <sighs> There's something that happened. Let me, let me wait. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh my God, it was working. Literally. It could be about By the rain. I think it could be because of the rain. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Uh, I was checking. Uh, it's not, it's, it's, I was not checking. Raining. Uh -huh. it's, it's not raining. It's not raining here. It's just I'm a bad single. So. up here <laughs> in Puerto Alberta. Oh my God. But now here it's not raining. It's kind of. Um, burning up. It's, it's hot. Really? Yes. But it's not working. Oh my God. Let me. I don't know if I can play this audio. Oh my God. If not, I'm going to send the audio that I have for you that I download because it is not working. Oh, I think. Me? Yes, I have it. It's going to work. Okay. Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. 
Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. My gosh. A lot of times. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, they have a really, really different uh, schedules. Uh, one of them has a really good time because it's like 11 in the morning. And then he go to bed at 11 p.m. That's that's good because he wake up at night, maybe. Then the other one that likes to go out uh, during the night, and she has a lot of energy to do it. So let's see. We hear the conversation, and now we are going to find the information that we need. For the first one, it says, Rodney is A. What is the work that this person performed? Chef. Chef. He is a chef. Then, he get up at what time? Chef. At? 9 a.m. 11 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. He wake up at 9 a.m. He gets home at the time. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. He uh, comes home at 11 p.m. He goes to bed at? 1 a.m. 1. 1 a.m. Good. Then, Tina is an? Office manager. Good. Office manager. It's good, it's good. Next one, it says number six. She got up at? Seven. Don't tell, but at the office going to 7 a.m. Ah, uh, 7 a.m. It says 7 a.m. Then she gets home at? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. She goes to bed at? Like midnight. Midnight, because she likes to go out during the night. Then we have Ellen is a flight attendant. Fly yes, attendant. that's good. She gets up before 6 a.m. 
5 a.m. 5 a.m. Before 5. And she gets home at? Around the 10 p.m. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. No. What is the time? Nine. Not ten. No. Mm -mm. No. Six a.m. No. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> oh, I got you. Nine p.m. She gets home. Nine p.m. Then she goes to bed at around ten p.m. Yes. 10 p.m. Good. So you have the answer for this activity. So I hope you remember the answers, I think. So now I will send to you um, some audios because I can play it in um, the session in this moment because it has the name of the website in which we have the conversation. So I can do it for obvious reasons. So I will send to you the first audio so you can play it. And then I will ask you, or okay. I will show you an image and you are going to tell me um, the activities that those uh, people are performing. Um, because you are going to hear the uh, phrases that they are going to say. So I'm going to send the audio, right? If you can play it, just tell me. But in this case, it's sending like a normal audio. So it's going to, it's not very fast. So you have to be patient. Okay. Oh my God. So in that case, we are going to hear, I think, 10 sentences, like uh, in which they are explaining the activities that people is doing. It's like, like that. So I have some images in which you are going to tell me um, which one are the correct one. So when the audio is up right now, you have the audio so you can hear the information and then I will um, put the image in the screen. So listen to the audio and I will Ask for your help in one minute with 41 seconds.
<clears throat> okay, oh I gosh. think um, it's time. So I will share the screen with the images that we are going to see for this audio. It will, I mean, it was kind of easy because um, that person talks very slow. So it is not like a really hard a audio to understand. So we have three options of images. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm not using my uh, glasses so I, <laughs> I can see um, the images. So, and we have the first one. And what was the first sentence for that audio? Go to a school. Go to school. So in that case, we have the uh, number two. The boy, I think, that is wearing a yellow raincoat. So for the second one, what is the second sentence? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Good. Yes. Number three. Dry your hair. Ah, okay, dry your hair. Number four. Take a bath. Okay, take a bath. Number five. Wake mm, up. Get dressed. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What is the one? <laughs> okay, uh, number six. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Good. Number seven. Study. Study. Number eight. Get dressed. Get dressed. Oh, get dressed. <laughs> Number nine. Hmm. Mm -mm. Number nine. Mm. Think about it. Don't remember. Wash your face. Ah, good. Wash your face. And number 10? Uh, get home. Mm -hmm. Good. So, we have 10 sentences in which we have some information about the things that people is doing. And we have the options in which we need to choose the cover one. It was a really um, easy audio because that person is talking very slow and it's very understandable the words that he is using. But we are going to find some audios in which we are not going to understand anything because the person is going to talk very fast and they are going to use uh, some words that we cannot understand it clearly. But in this topic, um, we were talking about the listening, but I, I think I, I didn't show you the, this one that is the objective. I mean, I was just excited for the topic. So in this case, the objective says that you will develop listening skills for a specific information about daily schedules. So in that case, it's like we are going to hear um, the conversations and we are going to find a specific information uh, like we uh, did with the audio that we have in uh, the platform in which you have some uh, like questions in which you need to complete the information that you have in uh, the conversation. So in that case, it is necessary to do this kind of listening um, activities because we need to 
listen and pay attention to the information because maybe we like to read the information or we like to read the conversations or see the words because it's better for us. But in this case, it is necessary that we can uh, develop this kind of um, activities or a skill. So then we have the uh, part two for the listening part. And it says that you will listen a conversation about demonstrative while shopping. And that is the thing that we are going to do right now because we have some minutes and I need to talk about the demonstrative, but we are going to talk about demonstrative tomorrow. So we are going to hear the conversation because we need to know what are the demonstratives. So let me go to the um, platform and I need to search for the demonstrative. Mm -hmm. No, I need to go to the next one. Uh huh. It says demonstratives while shopping. So I have the conversation here and it's called, they are perfect for you. So we are going to listen that conversation and then we are going to talk about demonstrative. Okay, this is part of the section number three. So let's hear the conversation. Three, what is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. No, the yellow... So, we have the conversation. They are perfect for you or they're perfect for you. So they are uh, in a um, shop and they are looking for uh, earrings. And he is expressing ideas about the things that um, she can buy in that case because he is going to give the things to her. But the important thing here is what are the um, the things that we need to find in this conversation? Remember that we are talking about, um, I don't know if I can change. Yes. So we are going to talk about demonstratives. And in that conversation, what are the demonstratives? I don't know if you have an idea about the demonstratives. Or what are those words that we are going to search? Someone has an idea about demonstratives? No? I don't okay. know if I'm wrong. Oh, tell me. That it's, it's about the thing that we, that we see or... Or not. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> there are some words that we are going, and you will say, what? That? It was very easy. But the demonstratives are those words that we use every day, every time when we are talking. And are these, this, that, and those. Those words oh, that we're going yeah. to use are the demonstrative. I, 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 I mean, they are very easy to understand. So, um, 
we have that kind of words to use with the singular and with the plural when we are talking about things. In this case, it's talking about the uh, things while they are shopping. So we have the conversation and we have the first sentence. Look at those, look at those earrings. We are using those because we have earrings are plural or singular? Plural. Are plural because we have two. In that case, because it's a pair. So we have, look at those earrings. Then we have another one. These red ones, these red ones, because they are talking about two things or more. Then it says, oh, these, Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Then we have another one. Well, that, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one, that. And we have that's expensive, another one. So we are going to um, learn how to use this and this. And also, we are going to learn how to use that in those. One thing that you already know that is the uses in plural and singular. There are no like something very grammatical and something that it's kind of hard because we have just the uses of those words. But we are going to learn all of the things um, tomorrow. We are just going to talk about that expressions right now, but tomorrow we are going to learn all about the demonstratives. And in this case, um, yeah, we are going to uh, learn how to use them. Also, we are going to create some uh, sentences or examples and also we are going to have some exercise in which you are going to put into practice all the information that you are going to learn tomorrow because we need to talk about the demonstrative. So, uh, if you can see in the document here like this, we have the demonstrative pronouns and we are going to talk about them tomorrow. So in the document to have all the um, objectives for this session of this week, because we have two more days. And remember that you have to work in the platform. I give you the answers for the, that exercise so you have to do it. And if you have problems or troubles with the exercise, you can ask me or help. But now it's time to end the session. Tomorrow we are going to talk about demonstrative and other topics that we are going to see tomorrow. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow in the next session. Can wait. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody.